Hey, everybody, this is Freddy the Fireman from the Wise Guys Show. I'm here with Chuck and Gennaro. Hot And we're here at Queen Margarita, Roma de Napoli Bakery, and the Sola Maria that they have over here. This is Pasquale's place. This is Jumpa Gennaro's brother-in-law's place here in Nutley, New Jersey. The address, Mike? It's 246 Washington Avenue, and if you want these St. Joseph Zaples, which we're going to make you spin in a minute, it's 973-667-6770. And let me tell you, we're going to do the process today on those uh, amazing St. Joseph pastries that we have, because St. Joseph's pastries, John Giuseppe Pastries is right around the corner a few days away and we're going to show the process of how to make them and the conveyor belt, whatever they do to, to, to push them out because there's thousands of them that go out every day, uh, there, especially during the day of St. Joseph's, which is March 19th. So, Mike, are we ready to go inside uh, and check this out? We're ready to go and, and check out these wonderfully beautiful golden San Giuseppe Zeppole di Napoli, Napoli. <laughs> Let's go inside and check out the process. Let's go, Freddy. Buongiorno a tutti. We are on the Napoli. As you can see, everything is ready to go this morning. Everybody was baking really hard in the night and in the early morning hours. As you can see, those beautiful San Giuseppe pastries are all set there along with everything else. It's wonderful. We start to hear all of the wonderful cakes, including the, uh, the special rum cakes that we have, the cheese cakes, all the, we have a special committed to St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up real soon as well. And uh, Freddie, we want to zoom on the wonderful sun separate pastries here on display as we see it. And in a short moment, we're going to see the whole process from beginning to end. All right, we are here, ready, inside the baking section of Aroma di Napoli with the master baker, Duber, in the house, who's been with our family. He is part of our family, and he is the master of the maker of the San Giuseppe Zeppoli, and uh, not just this week, uh, making the cannoli and the custards. He's going to do triple, right? Triple batch, because this week, there's going to be massive, massive people coming in and enjoying these wonderful, wonderful San Giuseppe particular. So let's get rocking and rolling here. Yeah, making a lot today. Okay, so now what? tell us the combination of uh, what, what we're starting with here. Now I put water, okay. oil, the salt, get to the bowl. Okay, so okay. then you're going to have, the, uh, have that process going in. So go in there and rock and roll, Duber, do your thing. This is a special soybean oil mix here. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go. Yeah, he's got just the right touch. Now I pull the book. Alright, gentlemen. That's what I have here. Take some time on the burner and boil. I want to stay maybe 10 minutes, boil. Okay, it's ready. Let's say San Giuseppe broth. San Giuseppe Zeppelin broth. Okay. Flour goes in, and okay. of course you, uh, you know the quantity of the mix. Yeah. Now I mix it. Has to really mesh up really well. Now, especially during this week, as we're approaching St. Joseph, which is March 19th. Uh, should we do a blessing to the to the table? Do we have a do we have a priest coming here to do the blessing? If yeah. not, then I'll, I'll just improvise. Made this beautiful batch yeah, that's about to be uh, formed into San Giuseppe Zeppelin. 
be more magnificent than ever. Go ahead. Gruber, Gruber is the, the saint making the Saint Giuseppe Temple is. As you can see, his enthusiasm and his love for baking, his passion for baking is very, very evident. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the eggs go in. Yeah, now I put the eggs because you don't put the eggs, they always come out, it's no good. Yes, and the eggs little by little. Yeah. Very interesting. Now I put meal. Add the milk in there, okay? Yeah. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a master baker is really, truly an artist in culinary. And here's where some of the magic starts to happen. He has his sheet, he has his wax paper, and then he has his technique. As you can see, slowly he will start to evolve. What a beautiful, beautiful design to send these up there. Pastry. And That's now, it. the moment we've all been waiting for, it's right, right into the kitchen. Now I'll kick it out. Yeah, right. Nice. Okay. I think this is an appropriate moment. Uno, due, tres, ocho! Okay. Look at this beautiful batch. Okay. Now it's going on. And now I need really cutting. Now you're going to be opening them up, letting okay. them cool off a little bit, right? Yeah and getting ready for the magic moment. The filling of the, the two different fillings, the cannoli and the custard, now, step by step. Now I open. Okay. I put the cream oh, inside. Wow. Okay. Look at that. Look at those okay. milks and crannies there. Look. Beautiful. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So now cannoli. You're going to okay. Cannoli. Now we're going to the cannoli. You know what? I, it really depends on the mood I'm in. I love both of them. Okay. These black cherries, this is a special recipe that we make here in-house, and that is the yeah. really, really special touch there. This is all prepared from beginning to end, from scratch. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. The final recipe. This is the cannoli. Okay. Okay. That's right, magic. Okay. That is going to be all on in the top. And there you go. <laughs> okay. And uh, thousands and thousands of these go out, and uh, this is unbelievable, my look. This is the whole setup. This is the, the custard, and here we have the, the cannoli. famous cannoli with the maraschino cherry. Wait a minute, Freddy. You know what? I just want to say you did a magnificent job, Dilber. Uh, thank you for representing San Giuseppe, Aroma di Napoli, and our family, you're part of our family, but guess what? I think I'm gonna go for the cannoli. Now is the final moment <laughs> that we've all been waiting for, is a freshly made, that's right, just made San Giuseppe Tecco. That's good. Wow. <laughs> Uno, due, tres, azzo! All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you can't make this stuff up. Here we are at the closing of Aromi di Napoli as we're ready to leave, and this gentleman is coming in for a San Giuseppe Zeppole. And tell everybody your name, sir. Oh, my name is Giuseppe. I was born in San Giuseppe Day, March 19. And now I'm going to be a nice San Giuseppe Zeppole. Wow, go ahead, go ahead, tear it up, Giuseppe. Wow, delicious. <laughs>
And guess what? Listen, finish eating that right now. And we're going to do an atzo. We're going to close off the day. This is magnificent. Thank you, Daniela, for all of your wonderful assistance always. Thank you, Aroma Dinapoli, to my family's bedroom. Wait a minute, just up. You got to do an atzo. I know you want to take off and eat it. Just say an atzo to me. I'm going to count up. Uno, do a tre, and we're going to do an atzo. You ready, Giuseppe? I know you're enjoying that zeppelin. Uno, due, tre, atzo! I'll catch up with you one of these days, wise guy, and when I do, pow!